And video number four. So let's move into some, this is not a, a medical, inter, this is not a nursing class, so we don't get into much detail in this arena. But there, look, there are certainly ways to medically treat weight, right? In the olden days, they would put people on a ketogenic diet, um, you know, vitamins, minerals, IV, maybe give them, uh, you know, IV uh, a solution of, of a protein shakes, whatever, and try to put them into ketosis and rip a lot of weight off. Now people, of course, try to do that going on the Atkins diet or the, uh, the ketogenic diet. It's a very expensive way to go, by the way, if you're doing it under medical supervision. There are drugs. There are drugs that affect appetite. Um, Phentermine, Contrave, or con whatever the, the, the drug product is. Um, and those work inside the body. The, you know, now, Anytime, anytime you give a medication that works internally, usually there, there's a possibility for a side effect. Uh, there used to be a drug back in the day called Meridia. Mer Meridia actually worked really well for weight loss. They targeted it for women. The TV ads had a lot of women in them, but Meridia had all sorts of other side effects. And I believe it, it was pulled off the market, at, at least in Europe first, and then pulled off the, the US market. But there's always newer drugs coming out. Uh, there's drugs that inhibit your ability to break down fat. Since for many people, and I don't believe this to be the case for most people anymore, because I think I see what I see, and I see a lot of liquid sugar calories at Starbucks. But uh, fat does have a lot of calories. If you were to block the absorption of fat, you would lower caloric intake. Uh, Ally or Orlistat, same product, Xenical, all the same product. It's basically a, a lipase inhibitor, a pancreatic lipase inhibitor. Uh, you you go on Ally. Ally tells you the little packaging in your physician. Please uh, don't eat a high fat diet. And the truth is, because if you do eat a high fat diet, you're not going to break the fat down, and it's not going to get in, and it can only go one place, your colon. And you're in. I I you know this is not exactly what happens, but you kind of lubricate your large intestine with undigested fat. And if you read the Ally insert, I, ha I actually happen to have one. From, from Walmart, they were given away in Walmart one day, um, you know, you can have some bad outcomes. So it is it is an effective drug, Ally or Xenical or, or, or Lestat, same thing. Uh, it, but you have to go on a low-fat diet. And that does work for some people, but it's it's not going to, you know, it's not going to make uh, the 44-ounce sodas go away. It's not going to make uh, boba drinks loaded in sugar go away. It's going to have no effect on your peppermint latte, super nuclear, triple sugar, Starbucks, $80 drink bomb, right? So, but these drugs do work. They're, they're part of a tool set or toolkit that a physician would use to help people lose weight. Now, and usually for moderate weight loss, I want to say that for Xenical or Lestat or Ally, or the fentramine drugs, the, the cognitive drugs, I think it's like up to 20 pounds a year. That's kind of their effective range. I don't, I don't know that for a fact, but that that's, I've got that in notes somewhere, um, in, on campus somewhere. Surgery is different. Surgery, you have to, you have to meet a criteria, criteria of being overweight. I believe it's a BMI of 40 and above, so you're morbidly obese. Um, and there's different kinds of surgery. There's the and there's more than three, there's more than two kinds that I teach two kinds. So the more minor interventional way is what's called the band or the lap band. And it's a kind of a, a collar, if you will, that goes above the top of the stomach and slows down the rate at which food comes into the stomach via the esophagus. It's, it's done laparoscopically, which means they make small little incision, incision holes. They kind of work in there using like their little robotic tools. Uh, there's a little port that you stick a needle through the side of the stomach area, whatever, and you your tummy, and then you can inject saline, you know, salt water, basically, you know, salty blood fluid, and increase or decrease the size of the of the the collar, so you can dial it up or dial it back, and it it, it works. I had a student many years ago, who lost I think up to 130 pounds was her greatest weight loss, using the lap band. She got the band because it is removable, and it there's not a per permanent change to your physiology. Gastric bypass is different. Folks, this is a permanent surgery. They are snipping away the vast majority of your stomach and the top of the small intestine called the duodenum or the duodenum. And they're, they're, so they're cutting it here. They're taking your small intestine. They're rerouting it 
making a new connector right here. And that becomes your pouch, like an ounce and two ounce and a half, um, two ounces. And it will dramatically decrease the amount that you can eat. And people can lose a tremendous amount of weight. Are there issues with gastric bypass or with lap band? Well, you can lose a lot of weight. And for the, we know for gastric bypass, the, the, big, the big outcome specifically for gas, gastric bypass is type 2 diabetes. This bypassing of the part of the small intestine appears to have a miraculous effect on blood sugar, which you will watch because I'm assigning it in this video, Diabetes Cured with a Scalpel, okay? It's in Canvas. Um, your LDL can improve, sleep apnea, which is a, a where you lose, uh, you stop breathing while you sleep, that can go away. We know with gastric bypass, cancer risk drops a lot. Learn more about that in the video I want you to watch. But there are complications, like these are surgeries. People do die having the surgery. It's safer than it's ever been before, but there are complications. Infections, um, some folks can gain weight back. We know if you're a frequent sipper of beverages, so liquid beverages, you can kind of sip your way through this small pathway, through this small pathway, and gain your weight back. So. 10 to 15 to 20% of folks do gain their weight back with these surgeries. But many people don't, and they do have amazing improvements. Yes, weight does come a little bit up by the 10 year mark, but many of these people do keep a lot of their weight off and it has profound effects on their life. And so that's why I signed these two videos. Uh, this one has Alan Alda from MASH, great TV, great, great TV actor. And this is uh, 60 Minutes, Diabetes Cured with a Scalpel. They're just awesome videos. I don't know if this goes to Canvas or if this goes to uh, uh, YouTube. Okay, so that's it for video number three or four. Anyway, we're done with this video.